This is WWJ Whipping with Joe from the island of Kauai, Hawaii. First of all, we thank you very much for watching my videos. Uh, we appreciate it very much and also for the people who donated to my site. <clears throat> thank you. Without your uh, donations, you can't be doing this field testing. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, <clears throat> we received the Daiwa back, Daiwa BG 4000. Uh, it failed on me after 11 hours of whipping. It was hard to crank. We send it in. It took 30 days, a little over 30 days to get back. Actually, maybe about maybe uh, see, me uh, I'd say about five five weeks from the time they got it to the time I got it back. Uh, about five weeks turnaround time. Uh, hard, hard, hard to crank when I landed the fish. So what they did was they gave me a uh, uh, they repaired it and uh, they repaired they replaced five bearings to it. So uh, maybe they've got better bearings than these ones here, but uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but they replaced all five of them. So uh, I got it back. I spooled it back up with 50 pound braid, with well, 20 pound, and then 50 pound braid, same as my sparrows, and we're out cranking. But what happened? Like when I loaded it last night, I tried to crank. There's two things I noticed. It, it was smooth. The line lay was perfect, uh, but I could feel like a little meshing of the gears. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe after a while uh, it'll loosen up. Uh, I know the sparrows uh, is, is that way. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's smooth though. The sparrow is smooth out of the box, but then the more you use it, it becomes smoother. Like I guess all the gears set in. But uh, that's why I noticed about the sparrows. Anyway, uh, the next thing I noticed about the, uh, the BG was that the, uh, the bail roller wasn't turning. So after 11 hours, uh, we had five bearings changed. I had to remove the uh, roller bearing which is the one right here and it's, the thing is pretty simple it's got a bushing in here you take the screw off here you got a, a bushing a metal piece another big one the big piece here and then a, a, another bushing there's no bearings uh, very simple operation actually and had a little grit to it and I figure you know from the residue from the old uh, look like they had a little bit of oil in it or, or grease or it had some residue in it I'm not sure it was salt so what I did was I, I, I took it apart cleaned it and then uh, put some lube on it. I, I put some grease, um, and uh, then it start to uh, rotate, uh, pulling out the drag. So now it's so it's good. So we say that this thing is 100% good to go, like brand new. Um, the only difference about this one here is that, uh, the, like uh, the like the Shimano, like starting from the 5K, 6K, and the 8K. Uh, even during the warranty period, when I sent it in, they 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 didn't repair it. They just sent me another one. Uh, the, the Pan Battle, Spin Fisher, Clash, and also the Slammer. They did the same thing. They didn't repair it. They just sent me a brand new one in the box. The Finor Company with the LT40, LT60. I sent both of them in and they just gave me a brand new one. They didn't repair it. And also the Fluger. The only one that does the repairing, this is my sixth Daiwa, by the way. I've had uh, the 13SS. I had three of those. Because they, uh, like I said, when I sent them in to repair, it, it wouldn't get back. So then I bought another one, and then that one failed, and then so I sent another one. So I bought a third one. So that's how I got three 1300 SS, and then I went into the 1600s, and I got two of those. And uh, like I said, I went through five of those Daiwas in 10 months, and then of course from there I switched over to uh, basically the Stratics. But anyway, um, uh, the BG right now for the price of uh, of about a hundred dollars uh, is. Uh, uh, it's because of the um, there's a cap. What I'm saying is when you take this, you can see the line lay. The line lay is perfect. Love the line lay. Um, if you take the spool off and you take the rotor off, right over here where the shaft is, there's a cover. That cover prevents water from getting in, and it's also sand. And it's same as the sparrows and the ghosts. They get that part. I call it the umbrella. But you know it's it's sealed, so nothing can get in there. So I recommend if you can buy one in salt water, this would be the real to buy because it's one of the only ones for that price at a hundred bucks that has that cover. And uh, that's why I went and actually field tested. Plus I had some donators who wanted me to field test this thing. And I had some parents ask me, you know, what real can they buy, which was less than $200 because the sparrows on Kauai is $200. You can buy them on the web for more affordable. But like I said, it's all up to you. I mean, uh, I bought mine here, and uh, I, the first ones I bought were from 
the, the web since Lihui fished in heaven. And then I just recently purchased another one and it was uh, $208. Uh, it was $199.99 plus tax. But anyway, um, I, got, I still got that one, the brand new in the box. I don't use that one there. So I've got a total of three of them. Uh, <clears throat> so my inventory of reels is I've got a Gosa 5K and a 6K. And I've got Sparrows 5K and two 6Ks. And now the BG. That's the only inventory I've got. The rest I've already got rid of. Normally when he came back from service, uh, it actually came back brand new for the other reels. I just turned around and resold them as, as new. Uh, but anyway, uh, <coughs> we're trying this one here. I like the line lay. I like the drag system. It's a little quiet. And the only two things I don't like about the, the BG is that it's quiet for the drag. You can't hear the drag go out. It must, might be the quietest of all. And uh, the knob here is real small. Uh, I like the pen on that one there, and the drag is the pen. I mean, they, they make they they they're they're, they're good. Uh, the um, pen slammer would have been a good one for me, but I couldn't get the, the drag to adjust uh, to, for small games, so it, it wouldn't work for me. But for those people, if you just plug in all the time, that pen pen slammer three it seems like a good machine. It's built solid. Love the line lay on it. Uh, didn't give me the wind nuts. That's the only pen, by the way, that didn't give me the wind nuts. <coughs> we're using braid. Anyway, we're, we're gonna do two ten pops here, and we're gonna go. We just went and tested out this new one coming out. It's still cracking smooth. It's a little fast to retrieve. I don't like it actually, but uh, we're gonna use it. We're gonna see how long it will last before it gives me a failure here. So in 11 hours, five bearings. And the roller baron or the, 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 the bail roller uh, had to be looped. So that's 11 hours. This is the shortest um, reel out of the 30 that had gone on it for that short amount of period. <coughs> Last one would have been a 20, and that was a pen battle. <coughs> the longest has been the Stratic 8000. That went 75 hours. And then, of course, the Sparrows. The Sparrows went for 355 hours before I sent it in for one year service. Anyway, again, Coming from uh, Hawaii, Hawaii, WWJ, we thank you for watching my videos. And for those who are catching fish by using some of my techniques, I thank you very much for for uh, for telling me that, and uh, I appreciate that. And uh, you know, uh, uh, I'm I'm happy, and uh, I appreciate you watching my videos and that and that you're catching fish with some of my techniques. Maybe not all of it, but at least you pick up some of it. I always got people learn from the people who's, who are successful. You know, you might have 10 things, you can take one thing out of each person, meet 10 people, and then you got 10 good things. So anyway, good luck to you. And we're going to put three more casts here, and we're going to flop here. I mean, and then we're going to go. This is a crank and pop, as usual. It's, it's hard to crank, though. And this is like a straight, this is probably good for jigging, if you're going to jig. But it's just hard to crank, hard to crank the, the lure in. <clears throat> and this is not even a popper. Uh, I tried it yesterday with the... Uh, Papa Joe, and it was a, uh, it was difficult to uh, to crank uh, to crank the lure in. Unlike the Sparrows, but uh, it's because of the gear ratio. Most people like the faster gear sh gear ratio, uh, but uh, for me, I, I still prefer the Sparrows. Still my go-to really. Anyway, that's my last pop here. And sometime this morning, thought to do a video for this second series of this uh, PG Daiwa. On a, this is on HMG 7 foot rod uh, with the uh, mullet. I use four lures like I said, four lures that have generated me GTs. It's the uh, mullet, the Akuli, the Halalu, and the Papa Joe which simulates a bigger jumping jack. Alright, oh again, this is WWJ, Whipping with Joe, from the alley of Kauai, Hawaii. Aloha!